Hey crafty friends, it's Amanda with Pear Blossom Press. Today I've got three easy light up cards for you as part of the Save the Crafty YouTuber video hop. Thanks so much for hopping along with us today. In addition to all of the fantastic prizes that'll be given away, did you realize there's a, a giveaway at every stop in this hop? That's pretty awesome. Um, but in addition to the fantastic prizes that we're giving away, I hope that you will find some great new designers and channels to uh, to check out and possibly subscribe to. If you're new to my channel, um, I am big on interactive cards, so I, I like to do a lot of those. I do both technique videos and start to finish videos. My video today is going to be focused primarily on the technique of adding lights to cards, so uh, I'm not going to color on screen for you. All of that, that'll be off screen, but I do have some start to finish videos for you as well. So let's go ahead and get started. The first card that I want to show you is um, adding lights to a flat card. If you've never made a light up card before, this is probably the easiest to start with. So I have already gone ahead and I've ink blended my background, just a little strip there. And then I've also stamped and embossed Make a Wish and a couple of candles. Um, the sentiments from a honeybee set. I've got the rabbit hole designs, candle and little squiggly. And then for the interactive part that says push here and a few stars, I've got that set from Heffy Doodle. Um, I've got links to everything down below. And then this one's uh, pretty, pretty awesome actually. <laughs> I used the coordinating die to a raindrop. It's from the Avery L set there. Um, and I am gonna use that to cut out the windows for the lights for my candles. So above the eye, see how it fits there perfect? Um, and then both of those candles, I'm just gonna go ahead and place that little raindrop die on top and it works perfectly for our candle flame. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that for all three. Now I'm gonna bring the uh, card front to my card base. You can see I've already trimmed it down a little bit. I'm gonna grab a pencil and I'm gonna mark through those windows where the bottom of each light is. I'm also gonna hover my pencil above where I've stamped push here. Then I can move that panel out of the way and mark a little dot. That's where I will put the uh, button for my light. So if you haven't seen these before, these are easy lights. These are actually a product my husband and I designed. Um, they come in different quantity packages. That was a pack of five. You just snap them apart. And then when you pull it out, it also has the batteries. You put in the battery and then you push the button and they light up just like a flashlight. Easy peasy. That little purple dot is the button. And it has each one has three different lights already at the end of each wire. So. It, it's very simple. Um, I have gone ahead and put some super tape on the back of this one. I like to use a strong double stick tape. Uh, you can use wet glue too. I know people use super glue sometimes as well, whatever you are comfortable with. So you just go ahead and tape it down with the little purple dot where you want the push here button to be. And then you can grab some regular scotch tape, washi tape, whatever you've got on hand and use that to stick your lights down where you want them to. So the end of each wire is a little yellow dot. The yellow dot is the light. It's an LED light. These don't get hot, so you don't have to worry about that. And you can put clear scotch tape right over the top of them. Um, a lot of times I'll actually just put the, the tape right underneath the wire, or I'm sorry, underneath the light on the wire itself. But it doesn't matter. You can do it either way. And then after you get each of the lights taped down, on those dots that we had marked. You can just go ahead and take the extra wire and kind of curl it up. You don't want to cut it. If you cut it, then they don't work. And you don't want to like fold it too sharply or you could actually crack the wire, so you wouldn't want to do that. But I just tape down the extra to kind of clean it up and then you can see that it, it's already ready. So now we want to add some uh, vellum behind those windows there. And I've just got some regular plain old vellum uh, scrap of it here. I am going to bring in some Copic markers and color that because I don't want it to be white. I want it to be yellow. And people ask me a lot, can you color the lights, the LEDs? The answer is yes, but you're not, it's a very tiny area and there's not a lot of pigment that'll go on there. So you may not get the result that you're looking for. I find that it works a lot better to actually just color your vellum 
and and let the light shine through there. So after I've gone ahead and colored the little areas behind the the raindrops there, I'll go ahead and glue the vellum in place. And then that just will diffuse the light a little bit because uh, remember those lights are very tiny, so you have a little a little dot of light, and if you diffuse it a little bit, it'll spread the light out. And you can kind of see the difference here. See how the whole thing lights up rather than one little spot? And then this is a trick for mailing. If you're going to mail a card like this and you don't want the, the button to accidentally get pushed and then the battery maybe wear out in transit, um, you can take just a little strip of paper and put it underneath the battery and then you're good to go. So now the, the battery is about the thickness of a double layer of foam tape. So I've got this double thick foam tape and I'm gonna put it around the edges and then when I peel off the release paper, I'm gonna leave the release paper in place where it goes over that little tab because if you don't, it would lock it in place and it wouldn't be able to move around. That wouldn't be any good. But you can see it'll pull right out and you press the button and you're good to go. So off camera, I added some stripes to those candles and a few flat back gems to finish it up. And let's move on to the next one. So this is gonna be a tunnel card. And this might seem a little complicated to light up, but it's, it's actually really easy with those easy lights. So I have got a die set from iCrafter. It cuts out um, all of the layers of your card there. It's kind of like a box card, um, but it's gonna make a tunnel. And it also has these different windows and banners and extra little cattail pieces. So I have cut out my back and I left it whole and I just uh, ink blended a moon onto it. And then I cut out a cattail layer. I cut out the centerpiece, which has the leaves on it. And then I've got a swan layer and another cattail layer for the front. I've also gone ahead and cut out the extra little pieces and a, a sentiment banner. And again, I, I colored all of these off screen. I wish that the shimmer would show up because the shimmer is really pretty on this. Um, now that die does go ahead and emboss two lines on each side and I'll show you how you what you use those for. Um, I do want to point out the sentiment is from the Seppy Doodle set. It says happy bird day, which I thought was funny. Um, so for the top and bottom layer, I'm going to leave them alone. I just kind of set them back to the side. For the back layer of the cattails, I'm just going to go ahead and trim off the bottom because all I'm going to use this layer for is to cover up the, the battery. So I just need just a strip basically. Um, and I'm going to leave those little cattails on there as decorative elements. And part of the battery will still show a little bit. So I'll use a couple more of those um, separate cattails to, to completely cover it up when I put it in place. Now, uh, this card is designed to have three layers. I'm adding an extra layer with the swan that I'm adding a fourth uh, level. So what I'm going to do is I am going to line this up in my trimmer and I am going to cut right between the two score lines that are embossed when you cut the panel out. And then that's going to give me about a quarter of an inch lip from the, the first score line. And I'll just fold it back on either side. And you can see I've got kind of a, a U shape there. Now the leaf's um, this panel is going to be the center panel. So for your center panel, you just want to go ahead and cut out right on those inside lines and that gives you a square and it'll all make sense in a second here. Now we'll take the uh, front panel and it has both of those score lines still. I didn't cut that down at all and I'm just going to fold them back, both, uh, both lines, and I'm folding both of them back in the same direction. And then you can see the swan will kind of nest in there and then that little lip will grab the center piece. And then for the back, I'm leaving that one whole as well. And you can see I left the very back of my card white. I taped that off when I was ink blending just so I wouldn't get it dirty. But I wanted a, a clean white space to write my sentiment. And I just folded uh, both sets of lines straight up. So the opposite direction so that it's facing up rather than going backwards. And then you can see I've got my easy light already prepped here with some tape on the back and we'll just go ahead and um, cover it up. Um, but I wanted to, I've already gone ahead and stamped press here. So I wanna make sure that I get the purple button in place so that it, it is right underneath where I stamped that. And then if you want, now's the time to add that little strip underneath the battery if you're gonna mail it. I'm not mailing this card, so I didn't need to worry about that. 
And then I added a piece of that double thick foam tape. And then I can just go ahead and stick that layer right on top and make sure that the button did line up in the right place. And then now we can get our lights in place. So I want the lights to be coming down those little vines. And because the wires are really thin, you can kind of tuck them in wherever you want. They're not going to show. So I'm placing the lights down towards the end of a couple of these leaves. And I will let the light kind of stick out a little bit on the side so that it looks like a, a little firefly. And I'm only using tape up at the top above the circle border there. Um, so I don't have to try to cut tape to, you know, not... I don't want the tape to show in the leaves. So I'm only putting tape up above and I'll do that for all three. And then I'm gonna come in with some glue. This is uh, Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive. It grabs plastic nicely. Um, and these wires are plastic coated. Also the LED is kind of plastic. Um, and then I'm just gonna just put a dot down there to hold it in place. And you can see the wires completely disappear. And I'm gonna make sure that the lights are where I want them. And they are. And then any extra wire at the top here, I can just kind of tuck down and tape in place so that it stays nice and hidden. Um, again, we're gonna curl up the edges or the, the extra wire pieces. I was not cutting wires with the scissors there. I'm only cutting the tape. So make sure you don't cut the wires at all or you'll lose light. Um, so once I kind of clean that edge up, I can glue these two layers together. So that little lip that we folded in, that's gonna grab the centerpiece for this card. And then I'll just go ahead and squeeze it together. Now I'm working on a heavy duty watercolor paper, so it does take a little bit longer. You could use double stick adhesive or score tape if you want, that would probably go a lot faster. Um, I'm a fan of, of the wet glue though. And then before I close up this layer. I forgot I wanted to add these little extra cattails here. And I put one on both sides and I'm just gonna make sure that you can't see any of the silver from that battery at all because the, the battery does uh, stick out a little bit on either side of the uh, battery holder area. So you can see it, it's completely hidden there. You can kind of see it from the bottom and if you need to change out the battery, um, this one is set up so that you easily could. And then we'll just go ahead and glue the other side down. And once that's in place, we've got the whole back half of the card done. And then we can just uh, glue the front two layers together. So I'm going to grab that swan panel and I will just go ahead and add uh, glue to the two sides that we folded in. And I'm going to glue it into the channel that we created. And I'm keeping it away from the front of the panel. So I'm kind of sliding it all the way to uh, the back side where the, um, those two little lips start to fold in, um, just so that I have some distance between the front two layers. You can see there's about a, uh, a little less than a quarter of an inch between the two. And then that, that back, um, the back side of the, the channel there, we can just go ahead and glue to the center of the card. And again, it, it was just like, uh, gluing the back together. So you see that? Um, and I did find that when you're trying to glue these two together, it's a little difficult with your fingers because you can't really get your fingers in all the way. So I grabbed some tweezers and I just kind of squeezed with the tweezers and that was super, super handy. Um, so that kind of finishes up the rest of this card. You just add some decorative elements on the front and the back, some more cattails and the, the little banner. And I wish on camera that this would show up um, as shiny as it is, but that moon really glows and it's gorgeous. I think it's my favorite of the three cards. Okay, so one more quick card here. This is a box card. I actually made this card for the last Save the Crafty YouTuber video hop. So I've got a link up here. You can see the whole start to finish process video for, for building a barbecue, but it's just a box card. And I thought it would be perfect to light up. So I've grabbed my easy light, I added tape to the back, and then I twisted the wires about two inches or so from the, from the end of the lights. And then I've got my little push here button that I have uh, embossed, and that's just on one of the rectangles from that same set that I made the box card from. 
And um, I do have a little uh, tab there to protect the battery if you want to include that. Now since I stamped push here in the center, I want to make sure that when I stick my easy light in place that the purple button ends up in the center underneath there. And I'm just going to kind of tuck it in. And since this card is already assembled, using these tweezers is going to be super helpful. And I do apologize since I'm going to be working inside of a box with an overhead camera. Some of it might be a little difficult to see, but I tried to to angle it so that you'd be able to see as well. And then, so I've got my three lights. Remember the bulk of the wire is already twisted together so that it's just one. That'll keep it cleaner underneath. And then I added a piece of tape onto um, the front of one of those little lights there. And you can see I've got flames sticking up on on the inside um, of the little struts that go across the box card there. So I'm just gonna tuck them in between some of those flames from the back side, so that if you are looking at it from the front, you won't see any wires running down. Um, they'll all be running down from the back side. So I just used a little piece of tape and it's actually underneath the light this time. I, I don't have the, the tape going over the top of the light. It's, it's just kind of underneath and it, is uh, the light is facing me. So the little yellow dot is sticking up at me. And then I put the sticky side of the tape facing me as well. So that when I come in from underneath, the tape is going to grab the back side there. So I just do that for um, all three of these. And you'll see the tweezers are super handy because it's kind of hard. I, I've got these spaced pretty close together, so it's hard to get my fingers in there. But once you have all three of those done, you just want to go ahead and uh, cover up the button. Um, if you're going to mail this card, then now is the time to put that little tab of paper underneath the battery. Um, since it's already stuck in place, it's, it, it can be a little challenging to try to slide it out of a, a tight space like that. So I use the tweezers to just kind of push the battery up and out of the way. And then I can slide that tab in there and put the battery back in place. And then um, any wire that's kind of sticking down, again, you can just, this is just to sort of clean it up from underneath. You can tape it in place, but do make sure that you leave enough slack for the box to fold open and closed. And then I'm going to bring in some more of that double stick uh, foam tape there. It's double thick. So this is three millimeters thick. And I put some on either side of the battery pack and another extra little piece on the left side of that uh, panel. And then I just stuck it in place. And that's it. Pretty easy, right? Now, obviously the lights aren't working because I have that little panel there, but I can send that through the mail. So let's take a quick little look through at each one of these. Pull out the tab, press the button, and it's a beautiful card. And that card was really fast and easy to put together. Um, since I'm using the easy lights, it allows you to, to spend the time actually doing the fun part of card making. And then our tunnel card, that was really simple to light up. Also the, um, the box card here. I think they're extra neat when you have that element of light to them. So I want to thank you for stopping by. Again, there's prizes to be won, so let us know if you are in the U.S. or international uh, when you leave comments as you hop along. My channel is giving away a $25 gift certificate to my shop, so you can get some of those easy lights for yourself. And then I've got links to the next stop in the hop, links to all of the products that I used, and my blog. If you like today's video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up click the subscribe button. If you have a playlist going for interactive cards, you might want to save this to it just so that you remember and can find it again easily. And as always, my friend, thanks for watching.